We're in Spoons, and uh, we've been to Tingle Creek today, but we didn't do any videos there because it was absolutely rammed. Um, and they had two beers, so plenty of races and beers to come. But we do have an open citrus in here, 4.2%. This is a classic old school hoppy beer. Really, really lemony, it's gonna be lovely. Cheers. Oh, much more like it, £2.39, absolute bargain. We're staying overnight in Surbiton. So we're probably going to add in a couple of pubs towards the end, uh, but we'll cut to the racing now. Ben's had a really, really good day, so he's he's buying all the rounds, which is why we're in his boots. Cheers. Found a half decent beer. Well, hopefully, um, this is a cast beer, Sandown Park race course. It's by Windsor and Eater, which is fairly close to here, I think. 3.8% um, golden ale. It did pour quite nicely, so uh, I'll put a photograph of that. I've been working around, there is loads of people here today, and the queues are enormous. Um, this was £7.20, which I think is a bit naughty, but let's give it a try. Cheers. Quite light crisp. It's a nice sort of buttery, sort of toffee side taste to it, as well as the hops. There's a real sort of like bitter hop finish with a classic golden ale. It's freezing, that tastes quite nice. Um, but given the uh, selection of Star of Pram and Madri and ciders, uh, it was nice to find something quite local. Big race coming up, Shishkin in the Tingle Creek, fingers crossed. Cheers. <laughs> Point two. This is post Tingle Creek, and it was a bit more Jacob Creek as far as I was concerned. Shishkin was pretty poor. Rattled the second. Edward Stone, Arkle form, came back to it. So interesting to see how he can, shapes up in the champion chase market. Um, found another beer though. This is a uh, pint of garden. Windsor and Eater again. This is their best bitter, 4.2%. Um, had a couple. Does smell really malty. There's uh, Morris Otter stuff in there, so it's very sweet. And a little bit of that sort of fuggles like hedgerow type you get. Give us a go. Cheers. I've been sipping that during the race, but it's much better having a proper slurp. It's lovely, sweet, lovely sort of like malt richness to it. Uh, and it's definitely better than the uh, golden now we had before. We might be struggling for a pint three, but uh, we'll see else, what else they've got going. And until then, we're all in on the lucky last. Cheers.
really, the Grove, uh, tucked in the back streets of Surbiton. Really, really nice pub, all painted dark blue. Um, they've got like a football bar out at the front, and then a really nice sort of like restaurant event in the back. We're having a nice bit of fish, way of smoked addict. And I've got a pint of tea. This is my Hobbs Back Brewery, which is based in Surrey. I've had this before, and it does trick your mind a little bit, it does taste of tea. Uh, it's 4.2%, which is like five pound ten pence. Let me try the cheers. Lovely kept nice and smooth, slight malt, but it does have that sort of like tea dry bitterness. As if you've left the bag in a little bit too long and then added in a couple of sugars rather than a cup of milk. It's really, really nice boozer. Probably recommend it. We had uh, massive cheese between the <laughs> and ales at the start, which they've doubled down. We're just waiting on the mains. Um, this is delicious. Uh, we've got a couple of those which nice dry, uh, but so it is turning out. Pretty well. Cheers.